Hi. This large blister under the metatarsals is the result of a patient performing cryosurgery at home for a Veruca. This was causing the patient a lot of pain, making it hard for them to walk around on their foot and causing them to need crutches. We decided initially to drain this blister to reduce the pressure. I cleaned the area with iodine solution, which is the yellow that you can see, giving it some time to work. I then sprayed some chlorhexidine solution on too. I then used a sterile scalpel blade and made a small incision at the bottom of the blister. The blister in the fluid had been in situ for a few days, so some of the blood had started to clot, and as a result, you can see that there is a buildup of white blood cells in the area, and this has made the fluid a bit more viscous and harder to push out of the small hole. As a result of this, we decided to de-roof the blister, meaning that we would expose the underlying flesh. By doing this, it means that the lesion can drain properly, the pressure is reduced, and then antimicrobial dressings can be used to kill any pathogens that may have gotten into the lesion and resulted in a severe infection occurring after it's been de-roofed. As you can see, the flesh underneath hasn't had a great time of late. with a piece of gauze, which I soaked in iodine to protect and cleanse the surface of the wound from any contaminants. This then also gave me time to prepare the pads and dressings I would be applying. Intriguingly, whilst editing this recording, I also found that the iodine spread in such a way that it looked rather exciting and interesting, especially in these times when we can't travel, which is COVID times for any future people watching this video. I applied a semi-compressed felt metatarsal pad to the forefoot to help to distribute the pressure back towards the arch. And then I applied a ute pad to the forefoot so that the pressure is distributed to all of the healthy skin areas. I then used an inodine dressing as it's antimicrobial and relatively non-stick to place directly against the wound. After this I then applied Bactagraph and this was partly because it's also antimicrobial but also because it has some, it's a very effective non-stick dressing. I placed a me pour over the top of both of these and then secured all of the dressing components in place with fixing tape. I gave the patient instructions to keep her foot clean and dry for a week, to keep her weight off of foot as much as possible, and to contact me if there were any issues. She'll be using a limbo cast protector in the meantime so that she can shower. And after a week, I'll then take off all of these dressings and assess where the wound bed has gotten to in its healing process. Thank you for watching.